Polite Society comes out April 28th. This is an action comedy from writer-director Nita Manzur. Polite Society stars Priya Kansara, Rita Aryu, and Renu Brindle. The story centers around the Indian expatriate community in Great Britain. The trailer for Polite Society looks kinetic and hilarious, and I'm jealous that I didn't know about this film to put it on my list. Sean Jackson from Lost in the Real joins me to talk about Polite Society, and he's the one that brought up this film. And I am really jealous that I didn't know about this film at all. So I am going to leave it to Sean to describe Polite Society. And this movie just uh, premiered at Sundance a couple of months ago. Uh, so it got rave reviews coming out of Sundance. And it is like a Bollywood uh, spin on Pride and Prejudice meets John Wick meets Ocean's Eleven. Uh, whatever that means to you. And it just looks like a whole lot of fun. Uh, the action looks super kinetic and really well done. And, uh, you know, for it premiering at Sundance, it definitely looks like a, you know, very well put together action film uh, that also is very tongue in cheek as well. So uh, I'm excited for that one. Yeah, that, that, that your description alone of Pride and Prejudice meets John Wick. That that is that that is that is that should go on the poster right there. Uh, <laughs> this is one that I was jealous of. Uh, this is one of the two yes. or three that I was jealous of when I when I saw your list, and I was like, "Damn it, that's a really good one." Because I I haven't heard of this film, and watching the trailer for it, there is something interesting, you know, because we're we're both Americans, so I think you know we yeah. we get a little bit American centric in our just inner worldview, and so to mm -hmm. see a an Indian family that's in England, that's been in England for a while. So they're, they're English, you know, but of Indian yeah. descent to see, to see a film in that subculture uh, is sort of an interesting thing. So you still have the, uh, the Bollywood influence, but you also have the fact that these are kids that are grown up in England. So they're, they're English, you know, they're, they're of yeah. Indian descent, but they are English. It's interesting to look at, that cult, that kind of a culture clash or culture offset uh, from an American perspective. The the visuals and the action and everything in that trailer looks amazing. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that that looks that looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I think it's probably Focus Features. Unfortunately, has a really bad track record in uh, marketing and doing well in theaters in the last couple of years. Uh, but they had some of the best movies of last year with the outfit and with vengeance. So, you know, I hope people go see this movie. It looks and, like a lot of fun. And and this is one that comes out uh, uh, April 28th. And I did put in brackets that it's in limited release. So yeah. I would say wherever someone is, look for wherever the theater is that plays the indie movies. And there's a chance that it will be there. But there are a yeah. lot of movies coming out in April. So even the indie movie theaters uh, may or may not have some of the indie movies on our list.